Hi! Today we're going to look at just a couple new features in GP2013. GP2013, um, or version uh, 12 if you will, is the version that is due out at the end of the calendar year 2012. So you're getting a little sneak peek into what's coming up in a couple months. Uh, today we're going to look at three separate features um, that I find make the user experience uh, so much more powerful than it's been in the past. It really enriches you. So what you're looking at on the screen is indeed GP2013 on the home page. And you notice it looks slightly different, so let's talk about what's different. There are a couple things different. Uh, one, you notice the Outlook portlet is gone. I'm not really sure what the decision was behind that, but I know personally a lot of my customers opted to not use that, so I'm assuming that's probably one of the reasons they removed that. They also removed the metrics field, and they replaced it with Business Analyzer. Now, Business Analyzer was a module that came out with GP2010 Release 2, and it enables you to put reports and KPIs, or key performance indicators, right on your home page. And so, or look at them in separate reports. And so it, it gave you the ability to put that on there as well. But the other items have indeed remained, the connect, the to-do list, and the reminders, the quick links, and my reports. But one of the things you'll notice, it does look slightly different, and that's because now the portlets are customizable in that you can move them on, around on the screen to fit your needs. In other words, you can drag and drop them. So if I wanted to take my business analyzer and move it over to the left side of my screen, all I have to do is drag and drop it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, under Customize, you can even choose to make them all one column, which uh, if you have a small monitor might be beneficial to you. Or if you have a large monitor like I do, a 24-inch monitor, or larger, you might want to make them three columns. So let's do that now. And I'm going to move my reminders up and over. So this is a great way to look at it. By the way, on monitor size, do yourself a favor. Go ahead and break down, talk to IT, and get that larger monitor. 24 inch at a minimum, uh, preferably two monitors. I personally use three. I have three 24 inch monitors. Uh, two of which are landscape and one is portrait and it enables me to have all of my apps open all the time right in front of my face without having to minimize all the time. Now, let's take a look at the business analyzer here. So right now I have it's empty. So we're going to click on the little pencil icon to change the details and then we could choose any of these predefined reports or KPIs. Now these reports are built in Microsoft SQL reporting services. So you don't even really need to know that, but one of the things I do want you to know is you can really kind of make some additional reports and have them all available to you. So what I'm going to do here is grab just a few reports. I'm going to grab my gross profit margin KPI and I'll insert that one. And then I'm going to go up and choose my, uh, oh, or is it down? Here we go. My receivable summary report and I'll insert that and I'm going to click OK. One of the things before I refresh, I want you to see I have the Show All button selected. So since I have two KPIs selected, now I can see both of my KPIs on the screen at the same time. Okay, so let's start by looking at this receivable summary report, and this is by type and by count. So what I'm going to do is click on the icon to view report, and it's going to launch the report in my browser. And this is where SQL, uh, SQL Reporting Services launches the report. Let me make it a little bit bigger so we can see it a little better. Um, and since I've made it bigger, it's a little fuzzy, so just bear with me there. So I'm looking at the report and I can see different pieces of information. Um, one of the things I can see is I've got a couple payments out there, I've got some service repairs, and I have um, quite a few invoices. And I've, I'm wondering what are these service repair invoices? I could simply click right there and it's going to drill down to another report and give me those transactions specifically. And I can even then go so far as to open up and click on the expansion window and I'll get more information on that particular customer. Or I can click on the document itself and it's going to open the window inside of GP. Let me pull it up. And there it is inside of GP. So great way to look up information. Uh, it really makes uh, the ability to look at it a whole lot better. On the gross profit margin, let's go up and pull that one up. And let's make it a little bit bigger again. This time we won't go quite so well. Let's go 200. Okay. And I've got this user date here. So what I'm going to do is change the date to September. 
and then I'm going to click to view the report. And you could see now I've got a little bit of change here. I can see the change of this period versus last period. And again, I have the ability to click on it and I get a little bit more information based on the period. So this is a really fascinating way to get a lot of information at your fingertips. Back into GP. So we, we know a little bit about moving this around. And if this is an important one we want to look at, you could also maximize this and see you can see a lot more information there. Now if you're going to maximize it, you might want to have this report um, optimized for the size screen that you have. Again, I have a 24 inch monitor. This report's made to be in one of those small portlets, so it's a little bit fuzzy. So you can uh, have your partner or have your IT person edit that for you in the SQL reporting services. The next thing that I wanted to show you is by module. So as you're looking at this, you'll notice that when we go into a series, again, just like in GP2010, you can see each series in all these different portlets as well. Um, these are also uh, give you the ability to move them around as you see fit, which is really nice. But one of the things that I like, if I go in and customize this page, which is something that we didn't even have before, I can go in and say, all right, I don't use utilities. I don't use routines, I don't use setups on a regular basis. I only use transaction inquiry cards and reports. And so now I can just make my screen a little bit smaller and have just what I need on there. So that's a really cool way to work. But the next thing that I want to show you is going to absolutely rock your world. So what we're going to do is go into reports. Whoops, did not mean a history report. Let's get a trial balance report. I'm going to grab an age trial balance with option and I'm going to print it to the screen. Now, we've all printed a report to the screen and then said, oh shucks, I forgot to change the printer and I have to cancel it, reset the printer and go through. Now, hallelujah, when you click on print from the Outlook page or from the output page, you now get the Windows print dialog box and not the old GP print dialog box. So now you can change your printer after you print it to the screen. Hallelujah. And one of the things I really like about this is um, I try to save paper, so I frequently will go in and duplex my reports. So now I have the ability to do this in GP, which was something I did not have the ability to do unless I set it as my default for my printer. So the third and final thing that I want to show you today is going back to that SQL Server reporting services. And this is so cool. So on our maintenance cards, for example, this customer card, next to the printer icon, we also have this little drop down list. And when you click on that, you can choose to assign reports. And once again, we get our business portal reports or any kind of report that we build uh, using the SRS and assign to that. So now we can go through and attach all of these amazing reports to our system. So I'm gonna come in and tell it I want to include a receivable summary. So I'll just check the box and click insert. And you can assign as many as you want. These also are user independent. So I'm setting this up for me, the user. Somebody else may want different reports on their customer maintenance or their customer card. So now when I have this customer pulled up, I can come in, click on that drop down, and get right to my report in the SQL reporting services. And once again, I can come in here and click. This is the same report we were at before. So that's pretty darn cool. We've looked at three things that I think is going to make your life a whole lot easier in Microsoft Dynamics GP. These are just some of the amazing features that are in GP 2013 or GP 12. More than 150 today. We still have three more months. I'm sure they'll put more in. I hope this helps.